Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finished up episode 2, the reunion and turnabout. We learned all about Morgan's evil plans and, well, now that that's all over, we arrive at Turnabout Big Top. Probably one of the most infamous... Uh, cases in the entire game. For those of you who don't know, in the Ace Attorney series, there's this little thing called third case syndrome. What that means is that if you're a third case in an Ace Attorney game, and sometimes even in other uh, visual novels based around murder mysteries, you're probably going to suck. And if you'll remember in the first game, that was Turnabout Samurai, which, while it's not an agonizing case by any stretch of the word, it was still a bit boring and a bit fetch questy, and just kind of got dragged out for too long. And the only really fun thing about it is the character character interactions between Phoenix and Maya. Turnabout Big Top, however, has become very infamous for containing a lot of stuff that is just not good, uh, at least in my opinion and the opinions of a lot of people online. There are actually a lot of people who defend Turnabout Big Top. Which, that's cool if you like this case. I don't, and I will probably bring that up at least a couple more times throughout the remainder of this case. Anyways, enough of my preamble, let's actually get into the part you came here for, the gameplay. I think I even said that in the previous episode, so. December 26th, 8.12pm, Barry Big Circus, Circus Entrance. Wow! That was like a living a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great! There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant who rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica. The world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? No, I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. Speaking of winter colds, it's currently, as I'm recording this, and probably when it goes up, uh, the middle of winter right now. And it's just... Gosh, it's cold outside. <sighs> like, even when I'm just in my room, it's still completely freezing. Ugh. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since the incident in Kurine Village and three months since the intro case. It was during that terrible time that I met Pearls. So yeah, Pearls just kinda existed in the background during that first case, and she was just never really brought up. I, I mean, they didn't really have a reason to bring her up. But yeah, I guess she was just at the Wright & Co. Law Offices, I guess. Or maybe she was in Kurine Village. I don't know who she's living with, because her mother got arrested. Seems like she is starting to get back to normal. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remembered the train. Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. It, I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You're going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I am glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. P Pearl! Look, it's time to go. Oh, she called her Pearl. That's how you know it's serious. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year. I guess I never really got to say it, but uh, yeah, Happy New Year's to you guys. It's 2024 already. Gosh. We're also uh, coming up on the, what is it, I want to say it's like, I think it's like the 18 year anniversary of this game's release in the West. So yeah, this LP was perfectly timed. I really hope it'll turn out that way. 
I actually plan to release this, like, in September to go along with the uh, in-game dates, like, for the first case. But I was, I procrastinated a lot, and so that got pushed back a bit. And now we're here, I decided to do this as like a sort of Christmas present. So we're actually closer to this game state. It's December 28th now. Uh, happy DL6 day, I guess. <laughs> well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hello. This is the right and collide. Nick! It's t t terrible! Ah, Maya. Perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess. I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick. You have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Barry Big Circus. The Barry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very, I mean, Barry Big Circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Alright, Nick. See you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. W what? Ugh. Oh, well, we're getting roped into another case. Let's waste as much time as we can, though. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business class hotel. Charlie, a quite decorative plant. I wouldn't mind his help cleaning the place up. It, get off your... I don't know. I couldn't come up with a pun. A poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maya went out and bought it right away. She's a sucker for all things Steel Samurai. Here they're even giving the new guy his own movie. I just know Maya's going to drag me out to see it with her. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Wouldn't mind dumping some of these off at the used bookstore. But that might not be such a good idea. My desk. Since I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. Well, nothing else we can do but head out. Let's go. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he uses magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous. Just... What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? Huzzah! Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max! Nick! Look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. He, he, he called me sweetie. Ugh. Nick! <laughs> Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. This one. Huh? I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. Huzzah! The Ace of Hearts! Ah! He got it! He got it! Nick, look! He got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactus, Galactica's hearts. Max. Ah. Uh, well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. 
Yeah. I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. The driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Y yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir! Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Y yes Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe-inducing. You know what? As much as uh, Max Max can be a bit of a weirdo, as we'll see later in this case, I do enjoy doing his voice. The guard monitor is a visitor's room. It's so quiet you could forget he was even there. If he wasn't watching everything. It's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. Smile, you're on candid camera. Max keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. Ugh. Max Galactica. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus! What in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyway, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays, they get their panties on a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab- I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certainly the greatest magician in the world. I'm gonna guess he didn't win a trophy for the most modest magician. You're signed to an exclusive contract with the Very Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus. It's a dinosaur. A thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic m of Max Galactica. I received the dinosaur, I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Y yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kinda like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, oh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him that night in his room. 
So, th so then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult me on matters, that's all. Nick? I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should really shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the Ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the Ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Sa salary? I am the one bringing in all of the crowds to the circus. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Y yes That's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat! Fabulous. Why does he have to keep saying fabulous? What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Psyche locks, eh? So it looks like... Unlike our previous defendants, which were, you know, Tutorial Case Girl and Maya Faye, who we absolutely know could not have done it, this one seems like it's a nut that's a bit tougher to crack. Do you mind looking at- do you mind taking a look at this? I guess I have no choice, but really, is this the proper time or place for this? He signed his own photo. Nick, mind giving that to me when the case is over? No way, Maya. I'm totally selling this on eBay. I could actually get more money than I get from actually doing my job. Which is... Okay, so this is, a, I think, a question that I've asked in the past, but... Has Phoenix gained any money from his job? Larry didn't pay him. I, I assume Maya doesn't have any money, and I don't know if Nick would make Maya pay him. They mentioned several times that Will Powers is an underpaid action star, so if he did pay Phoenix, I'm sure it was very little. Edgeworth may be paid, but that's three mo uh, four months even after Phoenix started his career, and he was paid once. And then Maggie probably paid him. And then before that was another Maya case. So I think, if I had to make a guess, Phoenix has only been paid up to this point like two or three times. So I do genuinely think if he just like took a celebrity signed photo and like sold it on eBay for a bunch of money, he could probably get more money than he's actually gained in his entire lawyer career that now spans like a year and some months. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little overanxious, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? B because you've been arrested for murder. Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why's that? Huzzah! Obviously, I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. <laughs> Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um... Um... Yes? Poke- I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I didn't kill nobody! Didn't kill nobody? 
I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger bud pit, but a killer? That's insane. I, I, I could never. M Max? I swear, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really. Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice, nice folks. Um, Max? Yeah? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. Him. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. H huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes. A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Hmm. Now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How do you... He got it right again. What can I say? You too. You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Alright, I think if you look in his profile... Ah, I thought it was gonna say something along the lines of his real name is Billy Bob Johns or something like that. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the Berry Big Circus and actually do some investigating. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!